Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna continue the sock level one in Try Hack Me. And today we're gonna be doing the diamond kill chain. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you guys are coming back, let's have some fun. So now let's just jump on the desktop and continue the fun. All right, guys, so here we are on my desktop. I just wanna make sure I have open everything. So when you go to learn, you're gonna to go to the learning paths and we're gonna continue the sock level one. Let me make this a little bigger. So sock level one, I believe we stopped. Let me make sure. Yep, so the next one is the diamond model. Let's, uh, let's give this a jingle. Let's see what we got cracking here. So this is obviously just another model. Hopefully we can uh, get through this pretty quickly. So what is the diamond model? You know, intrusion analyst was de developed by cybersecurity professionals, Sergio, Andrew, and Chris. Kudos to you guys. Thank you so much. And if you want to, you know, check it out, you can. Why should you use the diamond model? It helps you identify the elements of intrusions. You know, at the end of the room, you'll, you know, you'll know all about this. You know, events of a breach, intrusion, attack, and an, or an incident. So let's just go ahead or an APT. Let's go ahead and hit complete here and continue the, look, I got one day now. I always like one day off, one day on, and it really messes my quote unquote, my streak. All right, so who is an adversary? Just like, you know, in the real world, an adversary is pretty much the hacker, or the red team, or the person that's inside your network trying to attack your machines and your, your nodes and whatever. So here it's like, they're also known as an attacker, an enemy, a cyber threat actor or a hacker. This is the person that is behind all the cyber crime, you know? So that's pretty much what an adversary is. So we have, you know, all this stuff, whatever. You can read that on your own. So we have an adversary operator. This is the hacker. This is the person that actually is doing the hands-on keyboard and doing all the fancy stuff. And then we have the customer, the adversary customer. All right. So, so as an example, an adversary customer can control different operations. You know, pretty much they control the operation. They're the customer. All right. So number one here is what is the term for a person or group? <clears throat> so pretty much this is the, the operator, right? So the intentions of the perform the malicious act. So this is the operator. So I'm just gonna copy this. I don't misspell it. Paste. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. It's pretty straightforward. What is the term of the person or group that will receive the benefits? Obviously, that's the customer, right? Let's uh, do a little copy and paste. Pretty straightforward. All right. So let's go ahead and go to victim. Pass number three, the victim. So we have the victim is the target of an adversary, right? Like maybe you have a client. Maybe you have someone that you want to target that you have beef with. I don't know. So this is, you know, a victim can be an organization, a person, targeted email, IP address, domain, you know, it can be every, anything. Someone's phone, someone's website, like I said, email, anything can be a victim. All right, so we have victim persini, we have persini, and persini, persinia, whatever, whatever the hell it says. So the other person or the organization being targeted, right? And then the assets, are the attacker surface that can you know set these systems alarms and networks and addresses etc so what is a term that applies the diamond model of an organizational person so that's this victim personia person whatever the hell that says all right now we go so now compatibility so now let's go up a little bit so now we have the now we have the compatibility we have uh, compatibility, uh, an adversary arsenal. So pretty much this is a set of, you know, tools, whatever is in the arsenal of an adversary. And yeah, so an adversary, sorry, like I had a little beep in my, I don't know if you guys heard that, but it distracted me. All right, so an adversary must be required, have the required capabilities, 
you know, to maybe do phishing, maybe run malware, maybe do some crazy stuff, you know, ransomware as a service. So this question, provide the term that sets of tools. Okay, so I'm gonna guess it's the adversary arsenal, as it says tools. Let's give that a jingle. All right, so perfect. All right, so now we have infrastructure. Obviously we know what infrastructure is. It's the, where everything relies, right? Your servers, your network, your hardware, your logical interconnections, your routers, blah, blah, blah. For example, a command and control center, uh, so you can result for data, data exfiltration, removing the data or stealing the data. So we have a type one infrastructure. Is it infrastructure controlled or owned by an adversary? And we have a type two that the infrastructure is so, um, controlled by an intermediary. All right. So then we have a service provider. Obviously, this is the organization that the service is, you know, controlled and um, not control it, considered critical for the adversary availability. Man, it's super early here. I'm just starting to uh, wake up, so my bad. So which type of inf uh, which type of infrastructure do malicious domains? All right, so that's going to be type two. Let's see, type two, I would assume. Yep. And what type of infrastructure is mostly like owned? So that's going to be type one because this is when it's owned. Copy that. And let's delete that. All right. And got eye boogers. Really didn't clean my eyes this morning. But event meta, meta features. So we have six possible meta features timestamp, phase, result, direction, uh, methodology, resources. Okay. You can go ahead and read all of them. Then you have your phases right here one to seven. All right. So what meta feature does the blah, 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 every adversary contains one or two phases of the... All right, so I would say the phase. Let's see, let me just copy and paste so you don't hear my loud keyboard. All right, so let's do phase for number one here. All right, that was correct. All right, you can label the event results of success, failure. So this is gonna be obviously the result, which You can see it's labeling it. So I was assuming that's results. All right. So let me bring this up a little bit. So what meta feature is a phase? Blah, blah, blah. Every intrusion event requires one or more external resources to be successful prior to. So I would say that's the resource, right? Because let's see. That's what my assumption would be. Okay, perfect. All right, task number seven. All right, the social love is gain. So pretty much, why does people want to hack? Why does people want to do bad things to, for example, financial gain, gaining acceptance in the hacking community, hacktivism? So pretty much for money, right? We all, a lot of people do stuff for money, right? People say they still do stuff for free and doing all that stuff, nothing's for free. That's, that's the bottom line. Is that a stone cold said so? But yeah, so technology, the technology is a meta component highlighted in the relationship between the core, you know, features. They're pretty much, you know, the technology. Got that. All right. So practical anal. Okay, let's go ahead and do some practical stuff. Go ahead and hit that. And let's see how we do this. Are you ready to uh, blah, case study? Let's look at the case study. Do we have to look at this? I don't know. Uh... I'm not gonna read this. But let's see if we can try to figure this out. Intro, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there's eight, okay. So I guess we click on something. All right, so we just click on it. Okay, so the incident, the incident response, the incident response team has determined that the group of blah, blah, blah are responsible for the attack. So if they're responsible to the adversary, is that, is that right? I guess so. It didn't, it didn't give me, it gave a green, so green I guess is good, right? So the attack occurred uh, on 2021 or October 23rd, 2021 at 3.45. So I'm guessing that's going to be the timeline. Okay. All right. So you just pretty much click it. If it's green, it's good. Probably if it's red, it's probably going to say, you suck. Try again. 
right? The attacker is targeted an information technology system, which is an IT system of the corporation. So the attackers, so I would say victim. Okay. All right. So now this one, I like this better than, you know, those questions. This is pretty, it's pretty straightforward, I guess. If you know, you, you know, you know, you don't, you don't. All right. So the attackers used a recent malware campaign known as the one trick to ransomware company servers. So if we're using malware, we're using resources. If it wasn't resources, I would have said infrastructure, but that's where I went first. All right, the attacker stole data from the corporation, sold it to an underground hack and form. I would say that's the result. Yeah. All right, so the attackers gain access using legitimate credentials that were gained as a result of a phishing attack. Let me read that again. So compatibility technique, I would say compatibility or technique, let me see. Yeah, all right. So once the attackers gain access to the network, they pivot to the internal database and systems. So I would say methodology, because we're using a methodology there, all right? So the attacker step to, but the attacker steps can be followed by using what phase uh, of the cybersecurity kill chain. No, Mark, I would say the first one. Okay, cool. All right, so I guess we copy this and this is the flag. Copy. Paste. Thank you. Let me get this thing out of the way. All right, we're almost done. Conclusion. Benito. All right, so that was the diamond model, right? So yeah, that was pretty that was pretty good. I think we have one more. So let's go ahead and say thank you very much. Let's go back to learn really quick. And let's go back to SOC. I guess one more in here, right? On this uh, cyber defense. Yeah, we have the MITA. The MITA room. Let's see how like long this is. See what I'm getting myself into. Uh, let's drop this down. So there's nine. So it's pretty much it's pretty all right, not bad. All right, cool deal. So we'll get on to that one, the next one, the next video in this little playlist. So what I wanted to announce, like tomorrow is, it was two days, I don't remember. What is it? But whatever, Saturday the 1st is going to, I want to go live with Devin. He is just getting into IT. So if you guys are, you know, want to come join, I want to put the link and everywhere and social media and everything. It should be on my channel already. So come join, ask questions, feel free to pick my brain and his brain. And uh, if you're new to IT, it's going to be a fun time. So thank you so much for checking this video out. Until next time, have an awesome day, folks.